Four types of food you must avoid when you have diabetes. Are you tired of following a strict diet and eating healthily and moderately, but it seems like nothing is happening? For most people, not seeing the fruit of their labor will discourage them from achieving their goals. The same thing happens with people who must follow a strict diet and many food restrictions. But maybe, just maybe, you are entirely wrong about what foods you must avoid. Luckily, we will be revealing the four types of food you must avoid when you have diabetes. Watch this video from start to finish and see what might be causing your blood sugar to rise instead of dropping. So here we go. Foods you must avoid. 1. Refined starches. When you were younger, someone probably told you always to eat more to be energized and grow healthy. And the one responsible for keeping us energized to last a tiring day is carbohydrates. Refined starches are carbohydrates, but not all carbs are the same and good for your body. Do you know that white flour, white bread, white pasta, and white rice are refined carbohydrates? Refined starches or refined carbohydrates equate to a lot of sugar once ingested. But what would happen, you may ask? Your body breaks down refined starches into glucose, which is a natural sugar. Once carbs turn into glucose, it acts as a charger for your cells giving them energy. Glucose moves into your bloodstream, which interferes with your glucose homeostasis. Glucose homeostasis is the balance of your insulin to maintain a good blood sugar level, which you want to maintain. Avoiding refined starches is an excellent way to start resetting your dietary chart. Want to know a secret? There is a perfect source of carbohydrates that will definitely help you maintain your blood sugar. Whole grain. Yup, switching to whole grain is the perfect option for you to opt in. What are examples of whole grains? I got you. Brown rice. Oatmeal. Quinoa. Millet. Amaranth. Barley. Whole wheat bread. 2. Refined sugar. Let's debunk a misconception. Any diet containing high sugar doesn't and will not cause diabetes. There's not enough evidence up to these days that a high intake of sugar can cause diabetes. But, there is a but. But it can lead to other conditions like obesity and cardiovascular diseases, which can make you at risk of having diabetes. Going back, most of you know that there are a lot of different sugars, but like carbohydrates, not all sugar is good for you. Like refined starches, it messes with your glucose homeostasis or blood sugar balance. The perfect example of sugar you want to avoid is refined sugar, or also known as sucrose. Must I give up sugar? I know what you're thinking. Having diabetes doesn't necessarily mean you have to miss out on sweets. In diabetic patients, opting for low fructose and low glycemic index sweetener alternatives is best. It is like hitting two birds with one stone, no blood sugar spike, and being able to enjoy something sweet. Other refined sugar substitute will be monk fruit extract, stevia, xylitol, yak and syrup, splenda, sweet and low, equal, etc. 3. High sugar fruits. Fruits are naturally healthy, and you all know there are a lot of benefits you get when you add fruits to your daily diet. What makes fruits delectable is the refreshing and sweet taste. You can't get enough. Fruits have countless nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and glucose. Wait, hold up. Does it mean it contains glucose high enough to spike your blood sugar? Yes. Actually, no. I mean that certain fruits contain a high amount of glucose that you must avoid. It is okay for some to indulge in various fruits, whether or not it has a high amount of glucose but it is a different story for people with diabetes. You would want to steer clear from cherry, ripe banana, lychee, mango, grapes, cranberry, fig, pineapple, and last but not least, tangerines. I know, just hearing it makes your mouth water. These fruits contain a high amount of glucose that can spike your blood sugar instantly. It's not yet the end of the world. Let me give you some alternative fruits with a low glycemic index that you and your blood sugar will love. You can go for berries, you name it. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. You can also embrace citrus, apple, papaya, avocado, pear, peach, apricot. 4. Trans fat and saturated fat. 
You will see trans fat and saturated fat in every nutritional fact of your food item. But do you know what these fats are and their effect on your health? Everyone knows these fats, but not the worst fats you can put in your body. These fats are made of liquid oils that are turned into solid fats. The perfect example would be shortening and margarine. Generally, any food containing shortening or margarine has trans fat and saturated fat, which is automatically not good for you, like commercially available cakes, pies, and even cookies. But why is that? Because trans fat and saturated fat can cause insulin resistance, which messes with your glucose homeostasis and can lead to type 2 diabetes. Foods you must add to your diet. Of course, if there are foods you must avoid, there will always good foods that will keep your overall well-being healthy. Now onto the foods you must add to your diet. 1. High fiber. The simplest explanation would be foods that contain a high amount of fiber helps control your blood sugar. Fiber is a carbohydrate. I know you know that. But do you also know that fiber cannot be broken down into sugar? Fiber does help with regulating your body's use of sugar by keeping your hunger and craving for sugar in check. That is the big difference between refined carbohydrates and fiber. Best high fiber foods that you must add to your grocery list are chia seeds, artichoke, peas, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. 2. Fatty fish. The best option for your source of protein would be fatty fish, aside from the high amount of protein and lipids found in fatty fish. It is also low in glycemic index, reducing the possible spike in your blood sugar level. Fish with omega-3 is an excellent choice as it reduces the level of triglyceride if you have diabetic dyslipidemia. Fish is fatty in nature, but that doesn't mean it is high in calories. Between fish and red meat, the former is a healthier option. Choose your protein wisely. It's best to go after protein that can ward off diabetes, like salmon, herring, tilapia, cod, sardines, mackerel, and tuna. 3. Beans. Another food that is low in glycemic index and is helpful with managing your blood sugar level is beans. It is high in protein and fiber, making beans an ideal part of your everyday meal. It's okay if you don't like specific types of beans. With a wide range of beans, you will definitely find one that will suit your palate. Here is the type of beans you want to try. Lentils, kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, chickpeas, black-eyed peas, lima beans, navy beans, and great northern beans. Hold on, a little reminder. I did say beans are perfect if you have diabetes, but that doesn't mean opting for canned beans is ideal. Always choose fresh whole foods than processed ones. 4. Nuts Are you looking for snackable diabetes-friendly food? Look no more. Nuts are like magic for people with diabetes. Aside from nuts being low in carbohydrate, it contains a high amount of protein and fiber. Not only that, but nuts are also a healthy fat. It's like a super snack for people with diabetes. Look for these nuts the next time you do groceries. Walnut almond, pistachios, and peanuts. 5. Green veggies. It would be incomplete if we won't add our veggies, right? Overall, being healthy means having healthy eating habits and a healthy lifestyle. Diabetes would not reverse overnight, nor do they treat themselves. Watching what you eat and regularly including vegetables in your meal can reduce the spike in your blood sugar and keep them balanced. Buy yourself these greens and see how easy it is to manage your glucose level. Spinach, kale, cabbage, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, and collard greens. And that's a wrap. Notice how there is a wide range of food options for you to choose from even if you have diabetes. Slowly adapting to healthier food choices is an excellent place to start. But you also must bear in mind that no matter how much effort you put into changing your diet, without an appropriate portioning, your effort might go to waste. Don't forget the golden method, the plate method. Always remember, when you eat, there should always have a half plate of veggies, a quarter of protein, and another quarter portion of your carbohydrates. Following this and the right portion size will be a great help for you to achieve an amazing sugar level. Still here? I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.
If you like the four types of food you must avoid when you have diabetes video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness.